final drive and differential final drive final drive is the last stage in transfer of power from the engine to road wheels it provides a fixed reduction between the drive shaft and driving axles meaning last stage if you have seen behind the big trucks on the road there is a big in the differential in the back axle there is a big center there is a gola you could say and going then the differential goes to the wheels now if this is the vehicle the driver is here this is the propeller shaft coming this is the propeller shaft coming so it's the last stage so this is contained all this is contained in that box the final drive as well as the differential they both are in that big gola which you see fixed reduction because the number of teeth on the pebble for drive pinion this is connected to the propeller shaft you read in the last last lecture through a universal joint universal joint at the end of the propeller shaft and then connected to this bevel pinion the bevel pinion has much lesser teeth than the crown wheel or the ring gear and this combination is the one which provides the final drive the reduction is permanent because the number of teeth on this and the number of teeth on this are fixed so this provides a fixed reduction between the drive shaft and the driving axles these are the two driving axles we'll see the construction later when we come to the differential presently we are studying only this part the crown wheel and the bevel pinion this propeller shaft this part only this is the final drive it brings down the speed of propeller shaft to that of wheels reduction purpose of reduction is to bring down the speed the engine to the wheels from here the differential to the wheels it turns the drive of propeller shaft through right angles to drive the wheels the drive is coming from their propeller shaft the engine is here and it is turning through right angles one this is one half shaft the other half shaft so 90 degrees turn the crown wheel is larger than the bevel pinion as i said the crown wheel is larger than the bevel pinion therefore speed of the crown wheel is lower than the speed of bevel pinion naturally these two gears are in mesh their teeth are in mesh when they rotate this will this will rotate much slower than this because of the number of teeth the reduction provided is about 4 is to 1 in cars that means the ratio of these two ratios are 4 is to 1 in cars and about 10 is to 1 in heavier vehicles which means that the crown wheel is bigger vehicles heavier vehicles is much bigger is much bigger for lesser reduction of about 7 is to 1 up to 7 is to 1 a single reduction is used beyond that there will be you will have to have another reduction two stage which we are not studying differential now we come to this part the whole thing is called differential it is a mechanism by which the outer wheel provide the outer wheel turns faster than the inner why let's see this let's say this is a vehicle it's taking a right turn the width of the vehicle is let's say 1.5 meters the inner wheel distance from this point is let's say 10 meters this is 11.5 meters width of the car now this distance if you measure one one that means starting from here when it takes the right turn the inner wheels will have to travel 15.7 meters and the outer wheels that is zero this to here till the turn is completed will travel 18 meters 
So the outer wheels have to travel more distance than the inner and therefore their speed has to be more than the speed of the inner wheels. This is what the differential does. Is the mechanism by which the outer wheels run faster than inner wheels while taking a turn or moving over a bump. Even over moving a bump, it's the same thing. Over the bump, the distance increases because the bump is like this. So from here to here, the distance is elongated. The purpose is to provide the relative movement to the two rear wheels when vehicle taking a turn. Because the differential is in the rear, relative motion. This should run slower, this should run faster. The torque transmitted is however always equal. That we will see ahead, why is it equal? Sufficient at this stage, the torque transmitted is our always, however always equal. If the two wheels are rigidly fixed, let's say there is no differential. The two wheels is coming from here, final drive, one half shaft here, other half shaft here, forget about this. What will happen? There will be rapid wear of the tires. The tires will, because one is traveling faster than the other. Steering problems will be there for the driver he will have a little difficulty in steering and the road handling will become poor obviously if you have in a vehicle one one side traveling slower one prior traveling faster there will be problems if the differential is not there construction details let us look at the construction details of the differential This is the rudder shaft coming, universal joint, bevel pinion, meshed with the crown wheel. The crown wheel is on bearings, is rotates on the half shaft. The sun gears, these are the two sun gears, they are connected to the half shafts. One, one wheel is here, one wheel is there. And between them is the Planet gears, planet pinion or planet gears. Now there is a cage which is connected to the ring gear as shown. That means when the crown wheel rotates after getting drive from here, this whole unit, this whole unit will rotate. This is the cross pin or spider which connects the two planet pinions to the lock with the cage. Now let us see the working. The sun gears are mounted on the inner end of the rear axle. Inner end of, this is the outer end is the wheel, inner end is the sun gears. These are the two sun gears. The ring gear called the crown wheel, this is also called the crown wheel or ring gear, whatever you say, is attached to the cage, is attached to the cage and is free to rotate on the rear half shaft on bearings. This is a bearing, free to rotate on it. It is driven by the drive pinion. This is driven by the drive pinion. The cage supports the two planet pinions, two planet pinions, which are free to rotate on the pin, they are free to rotate on this pin, but are meshed with the sun gears. They are free to rotate on this pin, but they are also meshed with the sun gear. When cage is rotated, when this rotates, the whole cage rotates as I mentioned, planet pinions and pinion and pin and pin will also rotate as one unit. When move, vehicle is moving straight ahead, power flows as shown. Vehicle, now this is smaller view, vehicle is coming, moving straight. The power will come, parent pinion to this crown wheel, 
from here to the cage through the planet pinions through the sun gears and to the half shafts and they will they will rotate at the same speed fast fast this is the power flow The drive pinion gives the power to the crown wheel, the drive pinion, the drive pinion gives the power to the crown wheel, then the crown wheel plus cage plus pin rotate as one unit, this whole unit rotates. The planet pinion transfers power to the sun gears. Rotating this planet pinion, so you have met, and the power will be transmitted to the sun gears. The sun gears and half shafts are splined together. See, this is a spline. Sun gear and half shafts are splined together and revolving and revolve due to rotary motion of the planet gears as a whole. When vehicle is taking a turn, the planet gear rotates on its shaft to permit the outer wheel to turn more quickly than the rear wheel as shown in the figure. Power will come from here. When this is working then, when it takes a turn, then this will move faster. The inner wheels, this is, left, this is the left turn in fact. Faster means slow. That means it's taking a left turn fast and this will be slow. There will be no power onto the left shaft, only on the right when it's taking a left turn. Working. Now, to understand the differential action, what happens when the vehicle is taking a turn? Assume, to understand it, we'll have to make an assumption. We'll have to assume that the cage is stationary. This cage is stationary. Then turning one sun gear, then one sun gear right, will cause the other to rotate in the opposite direction. How? How opposite direction? Let's say this sun gear, this rotation is as shown in the arrow like this. And as we know, when two gears mesh, the other rotates in the opposite direction. So this, this will rotate this way, and then once this is rotating this way, this is mesh with this side. Left side sun gear, this will rotate like this. That means this sun gear is rotating, let's say, clockwise, and this one is rotating if you are viewing from this side anti clockwise because of the meshing of the gears. That means if the left sun gear rotates n times in a particular time, if the left sun gear rotates in a particular time, the right gear will rotate also n times in the same period of time but of course in the opposite direction. This rotation is superimposed on the normal wheel speed when vehicle is taking a turn. We have imagined this is happening when we assume that the cage is stationary just to understand <coughs> that one moves clockwise the other under anti-clockwise. One has to move faster on, a, uh, on the, so this is superimposed on the normal wheel speed. Thus, for example, consider a vehicle with vehicles with wheel speed n rpm going straight. The wheel speed is n rpm, it is going straight. When it takes a right turn, there will be a motion, resistance to motion on right wheel because it has to go slower and the outer has to go faster. And as a result of differential action, if the right wheel rotates back at n rpm, this has to so this rotates back, this left wheel rotate 
forward and, 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 and downfield. And the result of the right that rotate and the left wheel rotates forward at end. That means that one rotates back at an RPM, this rotates uh, forward at an RPM. So the resultant speed of the left wheel will be N plus N wheel speed plus the differential, the, uh, the speed caused by the superimposed due to differential action and that of the right wheel will be N minus N RPM. Fine. Torque action. We mentioned that the torque will be the same. Speed will be different, but the torque is always the same. Why? The torque from the final drive is also divided between the two half shafts. Between the final drive, between the two half shafts. As the planet pinions are free to rotate on the cross pin, planet pinions are free to rotate on the cross pin, they cannot apply different torque to the teeth on one side from the other side. Since they both rotate, the torque, they, they cannot provide different torque to this and this. It has to be the same because the pin is connected to the cage. Therefore, they act as a balance and divide the torque equally. Torque is always equal between the two wheels of the axle even when their speeds are different. The speed is very different but the torque is always the same. So this finishes the final drive and differential. Next lecture, we will see the back axle or live rear axle.